Dr. Stephen Sear. I'm a fellowship trained spine surgeon from SA Spine. The O-Arm is a navigation tool that allows us to use relatively a three-dimensional image of the spine. We'll look at the spine and reconstruct it in multiple planes so that when we're putting our screws in, we have real-time assessments of our screw position. We know the size of the bone, the width of the bone, the depth of the bone, so that our screws that we put in the spine for fixation and stability are placed in a more safe manner. I think this tool is vital for a lot of the more complicated surgeries. In our everyday surgeries, we don't need it, particularly when you have good fellowship training in spine surgery, but there are very complicated cases, patients that have had deformities, patients that have, for example, multiple surgeries in the past where the anatomy that we typically use to guide our screw position and our screw placement has become impaired, so we don't have anatomic landmarks that teach you, that show us where we're supposed to place the, the screws because surgery has been performed in those those landmarks have literally been wiped away. So a tool like this makes it much safer. When we're placing screws, we have a very narrow window for those screws to be placed. There are a lot of dangerous structures surrounding the spine. The spine's protecting and in front of the spine, near the spine, that we want to protect. So when we use a device like this, we're able to place our screws without risk of penetrating a blood vessel in the front of the spine, penetrating the spinal canal, which can damage the spinal nerves or the spinal cord, and of course, providing adequate fixation in the right position. If your screws miss the bone or only partially capture the bone, you don't have the proper stability of the fixation, so you may lose the ability to control the spinal movement, which can lead to a failed surgery. 